All right, I'm gonna make a quick video. I had a guy um, ask me if I was going to do more videos on the 6.9, 7.3s, and the IDIs. Um, I've had quite a few, I've got one right now. If you saw my other short video here, I'll let me see if I can see her out here. Yeah, there she is, the old all-star lamp. Come on, Fig, get in here, get in. Uh, yeah, and what to, uh, I don't know, it sounds like you got, you got an 84 or something with a 6.9 and you want to know more about the turbos and um, kind of longevity on those trucks. Um, they were super reliable. Um, if they see excessive heat though, you will have some head gasket issues and they're kind of prone to head warp, but uh, nothing crazy. Um, a turbo kit I would definitely recommend if you want to do any towing. Um, they're pretty good on fuel, really a reliable unit. Um, they were pretty good. And uh, to really just jab the Dodge Boys one more time like I really like to do, um, a turboed IDI will just flat out spank a, a first gen. And that in factory, mostly factory form, okay? So yeah, don't get me wrong, you take the VE 5.9 way past the power that the 6.9 will ever see just because of the limitations of the IDI fuel system. But if you're gonna go for mostly stock to mostly stock, um, um, yeah, that, that the IDIs, the turbo IDI, will, will run, outrun the um, the early five nine for sure. And then um, same thing with even the early power strokes. The early power, the a well tuned turbo IDI, and I like the six nines more than the seven threes. They just seem to be a little smoother to me, and they didn't have the problems with coolant. Um, um, you really have to keep your supplemental coolant additives, SCAs, and the seven threes. Six nines aren't as aren't as picky, but it's still good to do it um but yeah they're good good industrial engines they were in tons and tons and tons of industrial applications from uh, uh medium duty trucks to um power units all kinds of stuff they're cold-blooded as all get out that's one thing where the 5.9 will get them every day is winter time starting always keep a can of starting fluid with you but um yeah they're they're good old trucks they're really tough they're pretty good on fuel um, the ones I've had always hung out in that 17, 18 miles to a gallon, 16, 17, 18 empty. Um, the turbo kits, uh, the one I have, I've had two with turbos. I had a factory turboed, early 94, and then I had a this one that is the aftermarket ATS 088 turbo kit. That 088 turbo kit, I'm not crazy about it. I'd rather have like the banks or the, or um, there's a company called R&D Diesel out of, I think they're out of Gillette. But those are the guys, that's the turbo kit I'd buy now. If I'm gonna go buy one, I'd buy his. It's way better, better turbo setup and that's just more modern um, and, and real support. That's a guy that's that's pursuing that industry still to this day and, and I think he, he builds awesome stuff. And he can get, he's got parts for significant power. Um, man, just cheap, reliable trucks, that's them. I think you can do a set of injectors for installed and everything for less than a thousand bucks. And those injectors truly, they, they just don't see that much wear, it's just a, Kind of a low pressure pop style injector um you know you want to keep it a little oil in the summertime you can do almost nothing to those engines and run at like 50 percent used engine oil in the diesel they'll get along good um standardine pump super common pump um they're on all kinds of stuff you can still get parts easy builders um they're just good old reliable trucks um you know i'd rather i'd rather have a turbo idi than a first gen um, if you're talking like you're really going to spend some time in this truck and go on a, a road trip, um, kind of the same deal. I just, I believe through all the years that Ford builds a better cab and a better chassis, but that's my own opinion. Um, yeah, you get along good with that truck. Just cold blooded is all get out. Um, I like the late, the thing I like about the later ones is you get the five speed. Four speed's fine, but you know, it's just nice to have a couple extra, just have that extra gear in there. Um, but pretty good trucks. Um, yeah, I'd go that R&D diesel for aftermarket parts. If you don't have a turbo, sometimes you can find turbo kits and stuff on eBay, which is fine. But um, you know, if you really want to keep this truck for a long time, that is uh, the, the route that I would go would be that R&D diesel. But um, yeah, there's lots of information on those trucks. Um, there's lots of different, um, you can find videos on tuning the pumps. Uh, super easy to turn, tune with an Allen wrench. Um, you can just knock the timing forward a little bit, loosen your pump mounts and kick it to the passenger side, I think is advanced. Um, you know, there's, it's a, they're really fun, cheap diesels to screw around with and have pretty good power and, and get half decent fuel mileage running around. So I think you'll like it. They're fun old trucks. Um, 
but uh, that's just kind of my quick video on those I guess um, gosh yeah there's yeah just keep them cool I mean you can get that 200 225 it'll be fine but at least 250 degrees you're not gonna be very happy um, when it comes to boost they're very high compression engine they're like 21 and a half to one so you're gonna want that um, you know, like 10 pounds of boost in, in that scenario is in power is similar to 20 pounds of boost in like a 5.9, um, just because of your higher compression. So, because um, the, the engine was designed really from the get go to be naturally aspirated, but they handle boost. They got a pretty heavy bottom end. Um, they're, they're just good old trucks. They got big old monster radiators in them. You can, if you're towing, you keep that radiator clean. You can put your foot in them and just leave it there. Um, they were, yeah, they're cool old trucks. The leakers, oil leaking son of a gun. Um, the other thing is they're, every single one I've ever been around was a, had a, just a lot of blow by it seems like, and I believe that's from that high compression. You know, you're squeezing it down so much all the time that you're gonna have more air that goes around your rings. So don't let uh, blow by kind of scare you off. It's really common in those things to be kind of an excessive blow by machine. Um, but yeah, because even if, yeah, you can rebuild the crap out of those things and, and do everything right, and they're still going to have more blow by than like a 5.9 or a later diesel that's just a lower compression ratio. So yeah, they're, they're cool old trucks. You know, they got heavy duty oil coolers. They were made to go to work. Um, so yeah, they're, you know, and like, and you know, that the pump design and stuff like they're they're truly made that's an industrial engine like it's made to run up against that governor and stay there all day long so um they're just they're tough to kill because it, they were you know this is pretty low power pretty big displacement so it works out pretty good but yeah r d diesel for all your aftermarket parts turbo kits and stuff unless you want to go the ebay route and find a used one um but sometimes that's more headache than it's worth i think his turbo kit's only two thousand bucks or something but and i think it's an s36 yeah, it's T3 chassis turbo, so real common, which is what you like, parts forever. Um, but yeah, I think you get along good with that truck. Hope this helps you out, and if you've got any other questions, I guess let me know.